Good day Aries and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly reading for October 14th to the 20th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. Ooh, three of clubs. Oh, seven of clubs, ace of diamonds, and the joker. Okay, so your general energy is the joker, um, a leap of faith. Yeah, you got, you got a positive risk ahead of you. It's a leap of faith. So you don't know exactly what the outcome is going to be, and you won't know the outcome, uh, no matter what you do. You won't know the outcome of this. Um, but the sun here in the corner is telling you to go forward. You know, it is a positive risk. So regardless of what happens, right, regardless what happens uh, with this risk that you can take in front of you, it can be... A new, uh, a new relationship, a new job, a new uh, place to live. It could be all of the above. Um, regardless how it turns out, like say it doesn't work out, uh, something positive will come from that. You know what I'm saying? So there, there is positivity no matter what. Um, and all you can do is plan and prepare, right? Plan and prepare for the good outcome, plan and prepare for the bad outcome, right? Uh, but the card is saying to take that leap of faith, to take that risk uh, in front of you. Now, the weight here is his past uh, holding him back, and he's looking back. So you're looking back. You're you're questioning if you should go forward, and that that past can be also uh, an old relationship or uh, a job that you're leaving to go to this new job or whatever. It can be anything like that, and you're questioning it. But the sun says, no, go forward, go forward, leave this past behind. Uh, there's nothing left here for you in the past. There's new opportunities in front of you. So definitely take that lit risk. Uh, just, uh, you know, um, plan and prepare uh, for good or bad. But don't try to figure out, you know, how it can be good or how it can be bad. Because you'll drive yourself mad with scenarios. At the beginning of the week, you got the three of clubs. Uh, the trump card. This is the trump card. This is fame, fortune, absolute success. It trumps all the cards on the table. It says that all the cards on the table will work out just fine. So you will most likely leave your past and go towards this future. Um, fame, uh, that's just... People are going to idolize you this week. They're going to idolize you. They're going to look up to you. Uh, they're going to look towards you for answers and all that good stuff. They're going to see you as a movie star or or a rock star. That's how they're going to see you is they're going to be that idolized by you, right? Fortune, does that mean that you're going to become rich? Uh, not necessarily, uh, most likely not. Uh, what it does mean is that you're going to be financially stable when it comes to this week, and you might have an increase in your abundance. You know, um, I would definitely say, especially if you take this leap of faith, okay? I feel like you will have uh, extra financial abundance if you take this leap. Uh, a lot of you, I do feel like this is a job uh, and that you should go forward. Uh, I feel going forward is also going to bring you bring on that fame, that idolization uh, of other people. So definitely take that leap of faith. Uh, in the middle of the week, uh, you have the seven of clubs, uh, snakes in the grass. So there are snakes in the grass either a couple or a group of people uh, who are out, you know, out to get you pretty much. I mean, not to make you paranoid or anything, but they they don't want to see you achieve anything. And this could be your past. These people could be from your past and they see what the future is for you and they see that it's bright. They see the fame, fortune, the absolute success, and they don't want you to have that. So they're either going to confuse you in love or sabotage your work. Okay. So be very careful who you listen to. Um, hello, kitty. 
uh, be very careful who you listen to uh, come this coming up week because there are people that are against you. There are people that uh, do not want to see you succeed, uh, and you know you don't want to be listening to uh, those those types of people, right? Uh, so be very careful. It would be a group of people or a couple, right? That's what you're looking for when it comes to these snakes in the grass. Uh, so just be careful who you listen to. At the end of the uh, week, you have the Ace of Diamonds. Good news. So good news is coming in. That's going to lead to new success. It's either going to be in a letter, a gift, or um, maybe even an email. But you might fear it. But this could very well be the leap. This could be very well be a part of the uh, leap of faith. You know, fearing it. The snakes in the grass could make you fear uh, this good news coming in uh, that leads you to this leap of faith. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying is that be careful of the people that wants you to fear anything new, a relationship, a job, whatever it may be. These people are going to try to make you fear it. Okay, that's how I feel, is that they're going to try to make you fear it. There's another clue on how to pinpoint these snakes in the grass. They're going to try to make you fear a future opportunity, okay? They're going to try to hold you there in the past. Uh, but you don't need to fear it. Go for it. Uh, also, a lot of times... Like, say this is a new job or something, right? Uh, and you're fearing it because you're not for sure if you're qualified for it. Well, don't worry about that. You can learn as you go, right? A lot of times in life, we learn as we go. Uh, most of the time, we learn as we go. Uh, so don't, don't fear it. Uh, but also know that these snakes and grass are gonna, they're gonna try to make you, uh, fear this. But you really don't need to fear nothing. You got a lot of good stuff going on here. Okay. A lot of good stuff going on here. So I wouldn't worry too much about these snakes and grass. I would just keep, um, your faith in the stuff that you got going on in your life, uh, and not worry about what other people are saying around you. Let's go ahead and see what the tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Okay, so... You got the Five of Swords here, and in the Five of Swords, this man is picking up the weapons uh, from a from a, a battle that they that his side has lost, and returning them back to the uh, army. Now he's looking around, trying to figure out how did they lose this battle. You know, he's trying to uh, surmise how, what did they do wrong so that they don't do the same thing again, right? Uh, I feel like this is just a card telling you to uh, be aware of your surroundings, be aware of these snakes in the grass, you know, uh, really... Um, Really take notice of what people say to you and if they're trying to make you fear something that's uh, a, po a, po a positive risk in front of you, you know. Uh, so just be very aware. That's how I'm feeling about this card is that it's just telling you to be very observant of the things going on around you so that you don't get the, you know, sword under the stick or you don't you lose out on something that could be great for you. Right. Uh, but again, that leap of faith, regardless how it turns out, there will be a positive that comes from it. Okay, so yeah, really good reading here. Uh, I hope it resonated. I hope it helped in some way. If it did, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.